What you doing, Otaku? I'm VAC, and I'm going to talk about Burn the Witch. It is an anime film that came out in Japan and on and October 2020. Now, I'm not going to talk too much about it as far as discussing what happens in it. Of course, I'm going to at least summarize it and go through it. I'm mainly going to talk about how this came to be, I guess, and my thoughts on it, and just the weirdness that is how I watched it, I guess. Anyways, let me actually talk about what this is. So, Burn the Witch follows two witches named Noel Nihashi and Nini Spunkole. Names are hard. I'm never going to get them. Anyways, so it follows these two witches and a place called Reverse London. There's a front London, which is just the normal human world, and then there's Reverse London, which is the reverse, the hidden side of London where there's witches and all kinds of other supernatural stuff. And what they're doing is they kind of hunt, control, just kind of protect people from dragons. Apparently 72% of the people used to be killed by dragons. I don't know if that statistic's any better now. I assume it is since we have witches like these two protecting people. But the dragons are not like what you typically think of as a dragon. They're more just like weird, supernatural almost, just weird creatures or monsters. Yeah, some of them look really like dragons. Some of them just, I guess, can have a vague resemblance to dragons. I don't know. I mean, there's a whole bunch of creatures that look like dragons that aren't even called dragons. Dragons is the whole thing, so the fact that they're calling all these things dragons, ah, it doesn't even really matter. But yeah, these two, pretty much your main job, protect people from dragons. But there's another character named Bago Parks. He attracts dragons. Nothing really too special about him besides that. He just attracts them, which of course causes chaos and just silly antics and all that stuff. Eventually, though, this seems to be a threat to people, so people want to eliminate Bago. Uh, and then Noel and Nini, they still want to protect Bago. And not only that, Nini has an old friend, acquaintance, whoever you want to call her, that also pops up, causes a lot of trouble too. And that's the general overall story for this film. And it's actually really good. I really enjoyed it. It seemed like a really cool world, even just for, I don't know, not even an hour and a half of this film. And I did really like it. What? How long was it? It was really short. But, here's the weird thing. I watched this as a series. So I didn't even know it was a film. I watched it on, on Crunchyroll. And, they have it separated into three episodes. Uh, first one being called Witches Blow a New Pipe, second one called Gilly Suit, She Makes Me Special, and third one is If a Lion Could Speak, We Couldn't Understand. So I watched this with the mindset that this was going to be a series. I even say in my fall watch list for 2020 that I was looking forward to this series. It wasn't until like two weeks later right before I made this video, uh, I was like, huh, I haven't seen any new episodes of Burn the Witch. What's, what's going on with that? Looked it up and found out it was actually a film. Uh, now, I don't, I know I saw stuff about Burn the Witch in Crunchyroll's advertising. I guess I never really looked more beyond that because I, I had no idea. And yeah, I guess Crunchyroll did some advertising for it. But, I don't know, I just, I expect it to be a series. It makes complete sense to be a series. But, where this comes from is it's a, it was a one shot by the Bleach creator. Not a huge Bleach fan. I would watch some episodes whenever they would pop up late at night. But, that also means it takes place in the Bleach universe. Which I also had no idea. I mean, I'm not a Bleach fan, so I guess I wouldn't know. But... I don't know, the little bit I did know about Bleach, it, I had no idea this also takes place in the universe. What I'm saying is I had no idea about any of this. This was a completely new thing to me. And I still really enjoyed it. I hope it's a series. Um, but beyond the one shot, they uh, made a 
seasonal series of it. They would put out like a four issue chapter and that's what's out so far. So I don't know <laughs> how they're actually going to do this. It makes sense that they only did it as a film because they can't do a whole series and then pass the manga. I mean they can. But it usually doesn't turn out well. But it's, I don't know, it's a weird thing to me. And I do want it to be a series. The whole world they make in this film, it, there's already so much to it. And it seemed like they were just going, hit it running, just go for it. And I mean, they already find a, a legendary dragon based off of Cinderella. And no, it was just really cool. I really enjoyed it. If you haven't watched it yet, watch it. Because it is worth it. But yeah, no, now I'm just like stuck in like this weird place of like, well, I want to watch more. I wanted this to be a series. When I was first watched all the anime on my watch list, this was the one I was looking forward to most. And then it turns out it's a film and I don't get it. <sighs> I need to start looking into series more before I start watching. I, I never look into a series before I watch it. I want it to just be completely fresh and new to me. And then this is what happens. So, yeah, Burn the Witch is an anime film, not necessarily a series. It might be a series of films eventually, but Crunchyroll, what are you doing with separating it into episodes? You did this with, like, the Digimon Tri movies, and it's just weird. I mean, you have some anime films on your app. Why are you taking others and splitting them up? And you release them all at the same time also. I don't get it. I don't know, this is just turning into a rant. But I did want to just talk about Burn the Witch. There is a good story going on there. It's something new, something a little weird. Um, based on a Bleach universe, which I didn't know. So if you were a fan of Bleach, you're probably going like this. Still really different from what you see in Bleach. Though, but, you know. But yeah, if you've already seen it, let me know what you thought. If you liked what I had to say about it, go and like the video. If you want to see me talk more about all kinds of other anime stuff, go and subscribe to my channel. You can see why I do all that. But until next time, I'm DAC. Thank you for watching and bye.